Hey guys, it's Rachel here from Joshelli Labs, and today we're going to go over how exactly to take apart the J3 in order to swap out your op amps so you don't damage your board. Okay, so wood and aluminum are going to differ just a little bit on the size of the Allen wrench that you're going to need, but it's going to be pretty much the same exact process. So I'm going to show you guys on aluminum, but I'll also show you what to take out on the woods. I just don't have a wood J3 in front of me. So we're just going to do it on the aluminum and then I'll show you guys the screws for the wood. Okay, so for aluminum, you're going to need a two millimeter Allen wrench, and that is going to be for the four smaller screws that are going to be in each corner of the product on the front and back, as well as a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench for the five screws on the back for the XLRs and the RCA. Now for a wood, all you're going to need is a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, and that is going to cover all of the screws. So the four on the back, the two on the front, and the five on the XLR and RCA. So of course I build these all the time, all day. So I do have a drill and I do have the little screwdriver hand one. Um, so if you have these, you're more than welcome to use them. Just be extra, extra cautious when using a drill because it is extremely easy to break the plexi. So if you go too hard or too fast um, and there's too much pressure, it will crack the plexi. So if you're going to use a drill, just use extra caution, but you're more than welcome to. Um, and then this is pretty much the same thing. You just want to do it lightly so you don't crack the plexi. So let's take this baby apart. Okay, so for the J3, you want to make sure that you're not going to damage these buttons. So they are switches that are going to be connected in here. So that is why you have to be extremely cautious. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to completely remove the back plate. You're going to take it completely off. So in order to do that, if you have wood, you're going to use the two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. But for aluminum, we're going to go in with the two millimeter Allen wrench on these four. And then we're going to go with the two and a half on these five around the XLRs and RCAs. So let's start with that. Okay, so I already do have a video showing exactly how to swap out your op amps on your DAC. So I'm not going to go into extreme detail, um, but it is pretty much the same as the J2 series. So you're going to follow the same exact steps, which is to find your op amp, which are going to be obviously the op amp sticking up out of the board. And you're just going to pull up, pull up, and pull up. Be extremely careful, be gentle. The pins, can break very easily. So just as long as you're pulling straight up, you will be fine. So you're just gonna pull up and when you are replacing your op amp, you are going to look for the notch. So I have the SS2590 in front of me. This is not fully soldered with the 2590 on it, but it does have the notch, the socket that I want you guys to see. So on the top here, you will see that little notch I call it an arc. You're going to line up the arc on the op amp with the arc that's on the board for where the socket goes. So that is exactly how you know you are putting in the op amp correctly. So you don't want it to be backwards. You don't want it to not line up. You want it to line up perfectly. So you're going to see the notch on the op amp and the notch on the socket on the board, and you're going to just press it in. Again, if you need help with these things, you can always watch the video that I will have linked. Um, so it's pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, and yeah, so just pop them in, change out your op amp, swap them out, and then we're going to put the product back together. Hey guys, I just wanted to throw this clip in here real quick. I'm going to show you guys how to swap out a 2590 from the OPA 1656 on the J3 board. So you guys will be able to see exactly what to do with those since I don't have the 2590s in my previous uh, op amp swap video, so, or the J3. So I'm just gonna show you guys really quick, but that video is a really good guide, but this will just be a quick demonstration. So to go over it real quick, this one in front of the RCA is going to be for the RCA. 
And then these two back here are going to be for the XLRs. So if you only have one for the RCA, you're going to replace this one. If you have two for the XLRs, you're going to replace those two. And if you have three, then it doesn't matter what order you do. So we're just going to pull up really nicely and gently. They should just pop right out. Okay, now for the 2590, now mine is not fully soldered and assembled with the two 2590s on top of it yet. I just grabbed it right out of the box before we had a chance to do it, just so I could show you guys this. So first you're going to take off this little black protector, and then you are going to find this little notch right here, match it with the notch on the board. So the RCA is going to be out facing, and for the XLRs, they're going to face inside towards the board. So RCA out and then XLR or in. So if you see that right there, the notch is going to be right there, right there. Let me move this over. So then you're going to match it up, the notch on the op amp. And you're just going to put it right there. And it should just go right in. Just like that. And because it is so big and heavy, it is going to have a little bit of a wobble. So just make sure it's in there all the way and you're good to go. So now for the XLRs, you can see the notch is going to be right here. You can see that little notch on the board, notch on the socket, notch on the board, notch on the socket. Match it up with the notch on the op amp. All right. And then. I'm just going to line up all eight pins and press down, make sure it's in there, give it a little good push, and you're good. Okay, so putting your product back together is pretty much as simple as taking it apart. So the only thing is that you are going to look for these top notches right here on this case. So if you have wood, you're just going to slide it in, but for aluminum, find this top notch and it's going to go right in there. That is the only thing for aluminum is make sure you line it up correctly. So you're going to take your board and you're going to do back first. So you're going to take the back of the board, okay, just like that. And you're going to just slide it in. You might have to push it a little bit. Just make sure before you give it a little shove that it is on the correct notch and one's not like down here and one's up there. So just be careful of that. And then you're going to take the buttons and you're just going to slide them into the case, just like that. And you're going to line up these holes with the spitif and toss link and just like that. And then you're going to screw in the front plate first. You're gonna take your two millimeter if you have aluminum or two and a half millimeter if you have wood and screw in the screws. Okay, so like I said, wood and aluminum kind of differ a little bit, but only in the size of Allen wrench and the amount of screws. So wood is going to be the exact same steps, just instead of the two millimeter Allen wrench, you're gonna use a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench, and you're going to take off the back four, as well as the back five on the XLRs and RCA. So take all of the screws out, all nine of them, take the back plate off, and then you're going to only have to remove two of the screws on the front as there are only two. So remove those and same thing, you're going to push back through the front in order to get the product out. And then to put it back in, you're going to put the back end first, back through the front and then screw in your holes. So it is almost the same exact thing, just less screws and you only need one size Allen wrench instead of two, like for the aluminum. All right, guys, so that is exactly how to take apart your J3 in order to swap out the op amps. So just remember, take the back plate off completely, and then the screws on the front, take those off, and then just push it through the back, swap out your op amps, and you can put it right back together. Um, and if you need help swapping out your op amps, I will link that video 
below in order to watch it and see exactly what to do. But as long as you're matching up the notches and lining up the eight pins, you should be good to go. But if you have any questions, feel free to call or email us at info at I'll be happy to help or walk you through it or anything that you guys need. So yeah. And as always, remember, be kind, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>